or one of our GCAT Plus users in Melbourne has been using his time in COVID lockup to develop some really interesting plans for revegetation of a site. And he's come up with an interesting problem, one that we've not seen before. The problem is in the layout that the border of a floating viewport, and I'll just select one now, it's a little hard for me to pick, but that's a floating viewport. What I'll do is change the color to red, and I think you may be able to see what's happened, even though the color of that floating viewport was, to, was previously white. It runs, the white band runs down through that display of the trees and shrubs on the right hand side. So let's just put it back to by layer and I hope you'll be able to pick, sorry, put the color of that back to 255, white on a white background. You might just be able to see that running through here and all the way down, you can see it a little bit better where the background there is, is darker, is that white line that runs through there. I'll turn off the grid because that's actually getting in the way as well. So there's the floating viewport that's causing a problem with display of this proposal. At first glance, you might think just reversing the display order of the two, um, the two floating viewports might work. You might be able to say, well, let's bring that one on top and the other one under. So if we pick this one here and we say tools and draw order and put under an object, we can say, well, no, we need to go above an object. We've selected that one, sorry. We go under this one here as the reference. Didn't quite pick it. And I need to remove that one from the order. And now, hopefully, you can see the white line runs down through there as well. So just shuffling the order of uh, the, the floating viewports, one behind the other, doesn't solve the problem. So the next question is, how can we work around this? I note that the latest version of AutoCAD on its layout space is now allowed for a polygonal view around um, or to have a floating viewport defined by a polygon. We don't yet have that in GCAD Plus, but I think I'd, what I'd like to show now is a simple way around this problem, and I think it's in fact a better way. What I'd like to return just for a moment to illustrate the problem just a little better, I've picked the floating viewport that sits on top of the viewport for grasses and ground covers and I've changed the line weight to a ridiculous two millimeters so it's still color 255. Let me just click away there. So I hope you can see now there's the thick white line that runs on top of it. So it's clearly a problem. If we try and print here we, uh, we will get an artifact of in the printing process so we need to work out a way to overcome this problem. Well, the problem is resolved by rotating the original design in model space. So we now end up with, with two floating viewports that don't overlap. So they're just rectangular viewports in the usual fashion. Well, I've gone back to the original design and I'm in model space. So here we have our trees and shrubs zone and our grasses and ground covers zone. So all I've done is dive in here and pick the line that runs across here. Its angle is 351.6. So if you take 351.6 away from 360, you get 8.4. And so I just selected all of the entities, not the trees and shrubs, picked rotate and set a base point down there and made it 8.4 and rotated things then just moved my text information there and now we have and, and I did the same on the right so now we have everything squared up 
and it's easy to get the floating viewport orientation the way we want it. And here is the result. The problem, we hope, has now been resolved.